right. Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, simple common sense. When you understand how the body works, you understand that this regenerating system is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call it a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today. We want to help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members today by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, by understanding some of the logic about how the body works, by really working with the simplicity of the regenerating and healing system that's built into the human body. Nobody, 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 nobody has to suffer with a chronic degenerative disease. Nobody. It is in the body's nature to heal and reverse no matter what you heard it is in the body's nature to heal and renew itself and if you're on a prescription drug and your doctor has told you you'll be on a prescription drug for the rest of your life friends please understand please understand that the body is a healing system without drugs without doctor devices without protocols without medical strategies it does it on its own, but it needs the raw materials to do its work. 844-236-6010 uh, is our number, our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or purchase products right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And, of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, please go to truthtreatments.com and check out our Retinol 5% Gel. You can sign up for a newsletter, and you can also check out my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. I blog on both my Facebook page and my truthtreatments.com website. Okay, we're talking about the inflammatory process. We're talking about inflammation, anti-inflammation. These are so fundamental. These are the inflammation is the preceding process to all diseases. All diseases follow excessive out of kilter inflammation, inflammation that's, that's out of balance with anti-inflammation. They're both important. Inflammation is certainly important. You need inflammation. And the fact that inflammation is so important is why anti-inflammatory drugs are so toxic. Anti-inflammatory drugs, whether they're OTC over the counter or whether they're prescription, are among the most toxic drugs of all. They're subtly toxic, though. They're not like beta blocker toxic that just shut down your heart. They're not like calcium channel blocker. They're not like blood thinner. They're not that kind of toxicity, but they're still toxic, and they still have long-term deleterious negative health effects. If you use them, Motrin, I'm talking, Naproxen, Tylenol even, which isn't strictly, it doesn't work the same way as these other drugs. In any case, these anti-inflammatory drugs, if you're on them for long term, can cause kidney problems, can cause digestive and uh, uh, problems with the digestive tract. They can cause cardiovascular issues because the inflammatory process is not to be trifled with. If your body is inflaming, there's something going on. It's not to be shut down with the exception of maybe for very short-term pain kind of issues. So inflammation and anti-inflammation are part of a system. They're both important and they're both related. The health of both systems is related to toxicity and nutrition. That's really where we want to be working. If we're inflaming, if we've got an inflammatory problem that's leading to pain, or even if it's not, we'll talk about blood inflammation here in a moment. If you have any inflammatory issue, you've got to first look at what's getting into the blood that's toxing it out, what's freaking it out. What's getting into the system, i.e. the blood, 
that's freaking out the blood, that's causing the uh, activation of the inflammatory system. And nutritional deficiencies count as a type of toxicity. Why? Because nutrition is important for cleaning, cleaning things out. And when you hear about toxicity and nutrition and inflammation, you want to think ultimate EFAs, essential fatty acids and fats. These are the molecules of inflammation. These are the molecules of anti-inflammation, i.e., they're synonymous. EFAs, ultimate e EFAs are synonymous with inflammation and anti-inflammation. And I know some of you guys out there are thinking, okay, that's arthritis. That's joint pain. And that's true. Those are inflammatory. But heart disease is inflammatory. Diabetes is inflammatory. Certainly blood clotting is inflammatory and everything follows blood clotting. All health issues follow some kind of sticky coagulated blood. What we're talking about here when we talk about the importance of the essential fatty acids to the inflammatory process is we're talking about the EFAs as important for everything, 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 everything. They're so unbelievably multifunctional. Essential fatty acids are a storage form of energy. They're a key structural components of the cell. And when you're deficient in your ultimate EFAs, when you're not taking your ultimate EFAs, cells don't get built correctly. When you don't have enough of these ultimate EFAs, omega-3s and omega-6s in your blood, your, cell, your body is going to try to make cells out of pizza, out of mozzarella fat, out of whatever fat it could find, chocolate, hydrogenated fat, whatever fat, french fry fat, potato chip fat. You're going to have potato chip cells. You're going to have french fry cells. You're going to have Hershey's chocolate cells. And that is not a functional cell, a Hershey's chocolate cell. And what ends up happening then is the body goes, bing, red alert, red alert, we got an enemy. We got a chocolate cell. We got a, a mozzarella cell. Kill that thing. And when it happens a lot, it kills it a lot. Now you got a bunch of dead cells around. You see how this works, folks? And when we don't understand this just simple, it really isn't complicated. This, this very basic idea, we're going to go running to the doctor, and the doctor who is typically as... Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say this, your doctor is nearly as biochemically ignorant as we are. Yes, because he listens to the drug companies. He, listens, he gets his health information, not all doctors, but a lot of them, from the salesman, from the drug company salesman. He gets the information from the research that's promoted by the drug companies. And he learns about it at the, on his cruise or his Hawaiian trip that he goes on. That's where they have these, these classes to teach people about blood thinners. Why do you think blood thinning is such a huge, huge market? Listen, a blood thinning drug does nothing but, is nothing but an anti-inflammatory for the blood. If you believe in taking anti-inflammatories, then get on your blood thinner. But if you believe, as most of you do, that there are nutritional strategies and there are reasons why the blood is thick and clotted and inflamed, you don't need a blood thinner. You need EFAs. You need to figure out why the blood is toxic. So EFAs do lots of things. They're a storage form of energy. They f go to make cells. They go to keep the cells liquidy and responsive. Under conditions of deficiencies, we get Hershey bar cells, and that leads to anything you can think of because now you've got dead. The body's going to kill those cells. That means cancer. Yes, cancer. Cancer is connected to essential fatty acid deficiency. Why? Because without EFAs, you get dysfunctional cells. The cells don't know what to do. Cancer is a coping mechanism for cells that don't know how to, uh, don't know what else to do, largely because of dysfunctional membranes, largely because of EFA deficiency. Listen, if you're not supplementing with an essential fatty acid, you're not getting it in food, folks. There ain't a lot of EFAs in foods, that's for sure. You'll get some if you're really conscientious, super conscientious about how you eat, but for most of us, if you're not supplementing with your ultimate EFAs, you're running higher risks for every single disease you can name. That includes cancer. And by the way, cancer is not necessarily a doctor issue either. Chemotherapy, you know, we have this idea about chemotherapy, how magnificent it is. It ain't magnificent, aside from the fact that you deal with toxicity. It doesn't even work most of the time. That's why they have to use five-year survival rates. You're lucky if you can make it five years after cancer with a chemotherapy or, for that matter, any, any medical strategy for dealing with cancer. Cancer doesn't happen to us. It happens within us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. Try to call in early. It's first come, first serve. And we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. 
if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about how powerful and important a nutritional supplement program can be. Doesn't this stuff make sense? Have I said anything that's not common sense or that's difficult to understand or that you can disagree with? Doesn't this stuff just make sense? Doesn't it make sense that if you're not supplementing with a nutritional supplement program and you're not eating super 100% conscientiously where you pay attention to every single molecule that goes in your mouth practically, doesn't it just make sense that you're going to be sick? Doesn't it just make sense that the body is not going to have the raw materials it needs to do its work? If this message is logical to you and you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease or you know somebody who is, please, please share this information. Share this, share this radio program. Get them to the archives. And get on a good nutritional supplement program yourself and demonstrate and see for yourself. Demonstrate to others and see for yourself how powerful, how unbelievably powerful it can be for supporting the body's ability to reverse pain, misery, inflammation, awful skin, predilection or pre, uh, uh, tendency to the disease process. 844-236-6010 is our number today. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Truth Treatment products, please head to truthtreatments.com and take a look at our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol, a bunch of vitamin C, my fatty acid, transdermal matrix, and that's it. No oil, no wax, no filler, never preservatives or fragrances. It may seem expensive to pay $189 for a one-ounce jar of retinol 5% cream, but guess what? It's going to last you six months or more. Guess what? You can use it to really, truly improve the condition of your skin. Not pretend. Not where you rub something on your skin and you feel the, feel the, the product and think you've done something to your skin. But for reals. Yes, for reals, as Ollie G would say. Hyperpigmentation. Boom. Gone. Zits. Boom. Gone. Especially if you catch them early enough. Anti-aging. Fine lines and wrinkles. Boom. Gone. Not because of me, but because of retinol because that's how the body works. That's the beauty of nutrition. It's not because of me, it's because of nutrition. If we're sick, if we're not feeling as well as we should be or would be or could be, guaranteed it's something that we're doing, guaranteed. Well, I shouldn't say that. For the most part, it's something we're doing. Occasionally, there's things that happen to us. Cancer, by the way, doesn't happen to us. It happens within us. And cancer treatments of America and cancer commercials and drug companies, and they all want us to think that somehow we're attacked by a cancer alien. We're not attacked by a cancer alien. A cancer cell is a cell that doesn't know what else to do. It's reverted back to a primitive way of dividing. And anybody who tells you we don't know what causes cancer is a bonehead. We certainly do know what causes cancer. It's a defective cell that, it, that has now become a group of defective cells because that cell is divided. But why is it defective? It's not even really defective. It's just coping. It's in survival mode, much like we are. You know, when we're psychologically dysfunctional, and nobody could argue that as a human, as a race, the human race is not psychologically dysfunctional, there's a reason for it. It's not like we're sick. It's like we're coping. People who commit heinous crimes are in their own way just coping. They're in survival mode. Well, our cells are the same way. Cancer is a cell that's just coping. It's reverted back to a primitive way of dividing, which mandates and requires it to divide rapidly. This is what cancer is. A cell that is reverted back to a primitive way of being, an ancient, billions of years old way of being, called for, where it uses energy in a, in a way, that, in a process that we refer to as fermentation. Ordinary cells burn fats, cancer cells burn sugars primarily. And that's a much less efficient way of getting energy, but it's the only thing it can do because it's starving and it's suffocating and it's toxic. Cancer is something, and I'm not beating the victim up here, and I know I'm on sensitive, I'm, I'm, I'm on thin ice, but I'm sorry, I gotta be real. I can't be dishonest with you. And you know, there's a lot of, unfortunately, misguided alternative practitioners out there talking about killing cancer also. You don't kill cancer because you're killing yourself. Now, if you're in stage four cancer where it's at the end, that's different. Then you got to do what you got to do. But if you're at stage one or stage two, or ideally to prevent it, the strategy is to help the body deal with it. The body, listen up, this is so powerful. The body 
and cells are exquisitely protected to fight cancer or designed to fight cancer to protect themselves from cancer. There are chemicals and molecules in every cell that is anti-cancer. And if you take 